Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add shipping options to your WooCommerce website. Once you're on your dashboard and you have WooCommerce installed and you have a couple of products added already, go ahead and navigate to the WooCommerce tab and select settings. Once you've selected settings, go to the top navigation and click shipping. Once that page loads, you should get something that looks something around something like this. Uh, let's go ahead and add our first shipping zone. Now a shipping zone is basically where you're going to be shipping to, where the product is going. So right now I want to go ahead and add one for my state that I live in and I'm going to go ahead and put Maryland. Now I want to add a local pickup and regular ground shipping for Maryland. Okay. So let's go ahead and type in where we want to ship to and we'll hit save for now. So let's go ahead and add a shipping method. Now let's go ahead and just do the local pickup option and let's add. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and click on the title and this will allow us to change some of the settings. So we can change the name of it. We can make it so it's taxable, and if there's a cost for local pickup, then you can add that there as well. But for right now, there's no cost for them to pick it up, so I'm just going to hit save. I want to go ahead and add ground shipping to Maryland. So let's go ahead and add another shipping method. And I'm going to do this as flat rate. Add shipping method. Okay. So let's go ahead and rename this to ground shipping. All right, and maybe my shipping for all my products are going to be $9.99. So let's go ahead and add that. Save. So right now we've got Maryland taken care of. If somebody tries to select a shipping zone outside of Maryland, they are not going to get any options, so they're not going to be able to have it shipped to them. So let's go ahead and fix that problem now. Let's navigate back to our shipping zones right here and go ahead and add another one. We're going to name this rest of the world and this is going to be the United States. And let's go ahead and hit save. Once we hit save, we're going to add a shipping method and this one's just going to be a flat rate. We're going to go ahead and change the name of this to match the other one, ground shipping. And this is going to also be $9.99. Save. So now we've got ground shipping for the world, well for the US, and we have local pickup and ground shipping for Maryland. Let's go ahead and check on our shipping zones. And we are all good to go. We have those two here. Let's check and see what this setting says. And we already have this setting, so I can go ahead and delete this, but you shouldn't see that at all. You should just have that. Okay, so now that we have this here, let, we can go ahead and test everything. Let's go ahead to the shop. Add a product to the cart. Go to the cart. And we see that we have our price here. And since it's I'm logged in and it's automatically picking up my address, it gives me a local pickup option and ground shipping option. Let's go ahead and pick ground shipping. Proceed to checkout. And we're all good to go. So right now we've got tax, the total, everything is all good to go. So let's say you want to go ahead and add shipping on a per product basis. We can go ahead and do that. There are plugins out there that allow you to do a per product or a per item shipping cost, but we're going to use something that WooCommerce has installed already. So let's navigate back to our settings. Go to the shipping tab at the top. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to shipping classes right here. Now for our shipping classes, basically this is going to be different types of products we have. So if you have one set price for shipping for all your clothes, you can do all of your clothes have this amount of for shipping. If you have glass, you can add that. You can add basically any kind of shipping class that you want to an item. 
So let me show you guys. Let's go ahead over here to the right hand side and add a shipping class. And this one's going to be called glass. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and save. And I want to go ahead and make it so that anybody who chooses glass, it's going to be a charge of, let's say, $12.99. So let's go back to our shipping zones. We can go to Maryland first. Ground shipping. And right here, we can actually remove this $9.99. And instead put $12.99 here. If you remove the $9.99 and the cost and add $12.99 to your glass shipping cost, anything that you choose in the product any product that the customer adds to their cart that does not have the class of shipping for glass it will not come up with a price. So this is basically a fallback price at this point. All right. So let's go ahead and we can add that to here as well. No, this is false. So any product that does not have the shipping class of glass it's going to take effect of this no shipping class cost. Let's go ahead and add $9.99 to that. Now this drop down has two options, a per class, which means it's going to charge shipping for each shipping class individually. So if somebody adds three different items and they each have their own shipping class of glass, bulky, and small, then it's gonna add all three of the shipping prices up and charge them. For this one, the per order, it's going to just charge for the most expensive shipping class. So for example, if they add the three products and they have the glass, the bulky, and the small, whichever glass shipping is going to be the most expensive is going to be the one that the client gets charged. I usually do it on a per order basis. So let's go ahead and save changes. So from here, you can go back to your shipping classes and add more. Let's go ahead and add a bulk one and let's go ahead and add a small one let's go ahead and define how much those are going to be underneath of our shipping zones un underneath maryland let's go to ground shipping and we're going to go ahead and choose 9.99 for bulk and 3.99 for small let's go ahead and save this and let's do the same thing to the other shipping method that we have for the rest of the world. Let's go here, underground shipping. And let's go ahead and add $9.99, $12.99, and $3.99. And then our no shipping class is going to be $9.99. That's just going to be our generic if nobody, if we don't assign a, a class to the actual shipping. Let's go ahead and save, save changes. So at this point in time, we essentially have three options for shipping. And we have them shipping to two different zones in the world. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. We're gonna go ahead and let's edit, let's see, this tattoo. This is gonna be a small shipping class. So let's edit this. And we're gonna go ahead and make it so that the shipping class over here is going to be small. So it's gonna be $3.99 to ship this item. Let's go ahead and update this. Let's go back to our products. And we're gonna go ahead and add a glass one. So I'm gonna scroll down to a glass item right here. And we're gonna go ahead and edit this so that the shipping is glass. And once we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and check to make sure that all of these shipping options work by going to shop. Let's go ahead to the small item right here that we have set. And we're gonna go ahead and add one of these to the cart. Let's navigate to the cart. 
and we can see right now that the ground shipping is $3.99 for this. Let's go ahead and add a glass object. Now when we do this and add this item to the cart, because this is labeled as glass and has a higher shipping cost, that is going to take precedent over the entire shipping cost instead of the tattoo pricing. If we remove the tattoo pricing, the shipping cost will stay the same. Now if we add something that doesn't have a class to it, so let's go ahead and add um, an item that does not have a class to it. And let's go ahead and add this. Go to the cart. And right now it's $9.99 because that is our fallback image. I'm sorry, our fallback pricing for the items that do not have a shipping class. We can go ahead and assign a small shipping class to this and it'll end up being $3.99 for shipping. And it all depends on how you set up your actual shop behind the scenes on WooCommerce. Okay, so it also all depends on how many shipping methods you have, how many zones you have, how many classes you want to add. So everything is just a variable, but this is just a generic way to set up your shipping for your WooCommerce site uh, with just a couple of different options that are available for your customers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let, me, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks.